Hello, I'm Jacqueline Dowland, the reporter with the Clean Daily Herald. Today I'll be sitting down with Terry McDonald, Place 4, Cove City Council. What is your professional and or government history and how does that experience make you uniquely qualified to be a council member? Well, um, I uh, previously have a uh, degree in criminal justice, um, criminal justice and criminology from The Ohio State University. I have a master's degree from the University of Wisconsin um, Stout, um, and I'm finishing my dissertation in public administration from Miami University. Um, I believe along with those degrees and the work experience that I have, I've never um, served in, in, um, uh, in a public office before previously, uh, but my, my skills and my profession, um, I have a, a lot of experience as a troubleshooter. Um, so working in higher education um, as a, um, uh, a manager, as a director, and um, um, I've, I can use those skills to analyze information and synthesize information um, as a, uh, a former investigator. Um, I also use those skills to um, uh, synthesize information and to be able to um, extract from the larger picture down to a smaller picture to understand those things that are involved um, to help uh, get things done. Um, so I am, um, uh, I feel that I'm equally qualified as other candidates that are applying for the position uh, to perform those skills and duties. What are the top three issues you have, have identified in Cove and how will you address those issues as a council member over the next three years? Sure. Well, um, you asked for three of them. There are um, at least six that I have on my mind, um, and I apologize if I go over my limit, but um, there are, are a few things that are of concern to me, and I realize that um, as a city council member, there's um, uh, it's not just you that's out there working. You're working with a team of people, um, along with other city council members and the mayor, um, in order to get things done. But the most important uh, person who you report to are the people. So it's important for me to understand that there are other people that are involved and. Um, it would be critical for me to involve them in the decision making, uh, making sure that I reach out to those people to get advice, to get understanding, um, to make sure that I have a full comprehension of what I'm looking at. But a couple of the, the major areas that I'm interested in are um, youth centers and activities, uh, including expanded evening and weekend um, library services um, for the, the children and the youth of our community. Um, uh, sidewalks in the neighborhoods that uh, would make it easier to get from point A to point B without walking out in traffic or risking yourself, especially at nighttime, where it's difficult to see and lighting is, is poor in some areas. So that would be um, uh, a second item. Um, thirdly, I would say an increased um, green energy uh, recycling would, uh, would be a, a, one of the top priorities for me because I don't feel that um, uh, that we do enough. I think that we could do a little bit better. Um, for example, glass. Um, it was one of the first things that was recycled and now in Cove um, there's no glass recycling. So that, that concerns me. Um, also, um, uh, day care and night care for individuals um, that live in Cove. Uh, I think that there are few places where folks can go to for daycare and night care services. Um, so if you're a mother, low income, and there's just not that availability. Um, also, I would say uh, affordable housing is on uh, it, at the top of the list. So finding affordable housing in Cove is, uh, is troublesome to me. So um, that would be another area. And um, finally, I would say uh, a grocery store on the south side of the city would be something uh, that would reduce congestion in, uh, on the north side, um, but would be nice to have something where the old HEB was. That would be kind of nice. So um, those are the, uh, the main areas uh, that I would look at. But um, uh, reaching out to uh, the public to find answers uh, and talking with, um, working with the, in a team with the other uh, city council members uh, would be a priority for me. The city of Cove has had recent issues identifying new streams of revenue and expanding new business in the city. What should the city do to boost tax revenue and court more business? Um, 
I think an important uh, issue to take a look at for the community is uh, making sure that these are businesses that we wish to have flourish. Um, not uh, looking just at um, um, corporate fast food restaurants, for example. Uh, we want to have them uh, businesses that are going to enhance our community, that are going to enhance uh, the families. Uh, for example, we had um, um, one business that recycled metal. Uh, which was great. It was right next to the, the uh, Walgreens and uh, you could take uh, an old um, uh, lawnmower or, or lawn chairs or, or things there to get recycled and then you get a quarter to four.